What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Swindler's Den Presents Spelljammer Losers in Space. So, uh, I am Grizzlock, your dungeon master for tonight. Um, and before we get started introducing the players, we'd like to go over the results of the vote for who deserves inspiration this week. A reminder to you guys, every three weeks, we hold a poll on our Patreon and YouTube membership page asking you guys to vote on who deserves inspiration. This week, just narrowly beating out Neve was Clara. So congratulations, Genji. That's so loud. I hate you guys. <laughs> it's going to be loud on the recording, too. Uh, <laughs> Stop it. Uh... <laughs> um, so while we're on the topic of inspiration, this is a good time to tell you guys a little something I came up with. I've been cooking in the background. Um, I been cooking. Let me, I, cook. let me Let me cook. Let me cook. Uh, but no, actually, I think I stole it, to be honest with you guys. I just don't know from where. So if you guys recognize this idea, leave it in the comments below, because I'm pretty sure I'm stealing this from somewhere, and I just don't remember where. Um, so... Inspiration can still work how it always works, where you can use it on a roll to get advantage on a roll. However, you can also use it to know a guy. So Ooh. if you're ever in a situation where, let's say, for example, you guys need a lock pick and you none of you have the lock pick ability, uh, you can know a guy um, and expend your inspiration and... Uh, you know, you can you can come in contact with somebody that you know. Um, try and keep it within the 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 story of your character. You know, try and have a reason how you know this person. Um, and also, there's a give and take with this, where there's actually a D100 table that will determine whether uh, or or let's see what your relationship with this person is. Um, and let's just say it heavily favors the negative side. So you might have to, for example. Let me, let me look at one of these that I thought was good. Uh, for example, if you roll a 91 to 99, the guy just isn't that guy anymore. So oh, no. lots of different um, different things can can go wrong with knowing a guy. So do we like just call them on our space phone and they like come out and pick the lock for us? Well, that'll be determined in the, in the game. I mean, maybe you guys, maybe they have a local shop or something. I don't know. Oh. Uh, maybe you guys have to fly to a, a somewhat close planet to go get them. But yeah, uh, we'll figure that out as we play. So, so hypothetically, if someone's looking for a magical item that costs a lot and I have this inspiration, I can say, I actually know a guy who will give that to you for free. No, you got to keep it within the realms of, <laughs> of reason. <laughs> realms of reason, he says. Yeah. You can't, you can't just use yes, it to cheat yes. the game. You can't hey, be look, like... I, I wear a cast iron skillet on my head, okay? <laughs> like, what's reasonable? Keep it, keep it within reason. Um, I, I can veto any any use of this inspiration. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm putting that stamp on it right it's now. A disclaimer at the disclaimer. bottom. Okay. Uh, so you need the magnifying glass to read it. You've heard all of their voices. It's now time to introduce them. Lordimus, who are you? Who are you playing? Hey, I'm Lordimus. I'm playing Chef. He is a uh, hill dwarf fighter. Uh, that's also a cyborg. He's got a robotic arm. A uh, robotic. Pegish leg and a robotic eye. Back a zombie. Hello, I'm playing Neve. She is a wizard, um, and she's not to be messed with. The winner of this week's inspiration. Hi, I'm Genji. I play Clara, the plasmoid monk. This very, very um energetic teenager. I guess that's how would you put it. And last but not least, we got Mior. And I play Lauren, the Bard Allen. Who just, you know, likes to sing and have a good time. <laughs> All right. Um, so, last we left off on the show, uh, you guys, um, your, your ship was getting kind of bombarded by these astral elves of the Zaraxian Empire. Um, and you chose to essentially hyper jump, uh, spell jump out of the combat, which is a highly dangerous maneuver um, that caused your your spell jammer pilot, your captain, to lose a bunch of points of exhaustion. Luckily, you, yeah, he scraped away with only two points down. 
but uh, it is a, a maneuver that has the potential to kill your captain. Um, you guys made port on the shore of this desert isle, exotic desert isle, um, just kidding, of this meteorite town named the Rock of Brawl. There, um, you look to get repairs on your ship, but in the meantime, the rest of you, um, without your captain, went to a tavern called the Lucky Beholder, where a beholder by the name of Large Luigi was serving up cocktails and all that like. Um, uh, I believe the very last thing in here was Lauren was about to play us a song. <laughs> I think we're still up by the rooms. He's getting ready to go play a song, though. <laughs> Yeah, me and yeah. me and Claire are still in the in the main area. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Cause yeah, I believe that uh, Neve and uh, Lauren had just finished talking, and Lauren went and hopped on the railing that was uh, right next to the stairs, and did his whole "Are you ready for a show?" And uh, then he would. Uh, essentially, you know, because I'm not a musician, <laughs> he would start busting out into a song about a young adventurer who was separated from friends and went to explore the stars and whatnot. And it, it kind of starts out a little slow, but then starts to get more, you know, more excited and hyped up as he like kind of starts trying to fly around the room. Hopefully no one stops him. So you get, <laughs> you you enter back into the, the tavern and start doing this. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this bard in the back left corner that's, it's kind of been propped up with his foot up on a um, on a bench, locks eyes with you and glares angrily as you start singing about this this um, this adventurer. He starts jamming in, playing about how the adventurer was shot down with arrows, and he's he's like he's like attempting to battle you right now musically. Oh, yeah. So, like, I, I all start getting over up in his business, and I kind of weave in there like a, I challenge you to a bard off. <laughs> this is my set. Give me one chance to rock your socks off. <laughs> this is my set. Get out of here. And he's... Um, yeah, he just keeps playing even more, and then he starts doing prestigitation uh, to like add some <laughs> add some nice like sparks and flares like flying out of the wings as I like whoosh whoosh them over the audience as he like goes on about the stars in the sky and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, kid, I'll make a deal with you. Whoever asks the crowd more, oh, wins a wager. What do you wager? Uh, so yeah, he kind of whispers between lyrics. Uh, how about 20 gold? 20 gold, and you never show your face in here again if I win. Uh, you win. How about I never play again? <laughs> because I need to stay here. You know what? Lodging. That's a great idea. How about this? <laughs> if I win, I get your instrument. If you win, you get mine. Oh, deal. As he, as he you know, <laughs> keeps going on. Okay. I'm so bad. <laughs> how, how can I mess with Lauren so he doesn't have that instrument to bother me with um, anymore? <laughs> I'll go first. And he, he starts strumming away. Um and you watch these little uh these little like fireworks pew poof, poof, come out as he starts playing his lute. Uh I'm going to roll a performance for this man. Okay. Um Math is hard. Okay, uh, go ahead, Miwar. Right. As you counter with uh, your, I don't know. Are you still singing about this adventurer? <laughs> oh, uh, now he is playing to the crowd because I presumably like we would have heard like some classic like everybody sing along songs at like our space bars or whatever, right? Oh yeah, there's probably some like some awesome sea shanties and like different. Things you think would play well with the crowd. Yeah, so then he starts going to like a classic one of those and like, oh. I'm gonna see, like, he starts getting into that. 
Okay, roll and then, uh, performance. Yeah, with with a little bit of magic as he flies around. <laughs> okay, give me um, give me a performance. And, um, what kind? Uh, let's see, give me a performance, but you're adding like prestidigitation, right? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me a plus two on top of that. Ooh, all right. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a nat one. one. Oh. Um, he rolled a sixteen. So, uh, oh god, <laughs> you start well. flying around the room, singing the sea shanty when your string. That was a weird noise, but it poo, and it breaks. Doing, doing. Yeah, that was uh, a better noise. Yeah, as uh, I guess he goes and lands next to him as he kind of continues. How about double or nothing? <laughs> um, we're gonna do this. Sorry, I should explain. We're gonna do this like three rounds. Best two with oh, three. Oh, whew. okay, okay. Um, but now <laughs> you have disadvantage. Team. Because your ooh, ooh. your loot string snapped and you're your string down. It's gonna be hard to recover from this. I'm switching to my loot. As a or, big no, grin. I'm switching to my flute. Big grin <laughs> crumps across. Start shaking my like glow stick to help uh, him out. Like. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> you were originally balls. using your lyre or something? I mean, that was my loot. Yeah. So oh, I your said loot. I'm switching to my flute now. Oh, okay, so I guess what what happened to your? Okay, never mind. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Loot. Yeah, the string broke. So now you switch to your flute. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the, uh, Theobard, the bard, uh, looks over at you and grins and casts silvery barbs on you. Oh, <laughs> no! I don't have any spell slots, okay? Oh, crap. All right, oh my god. All right, and then, okay, so what you can technically do with prestigitation... Prestigitation. Uh, Prestigitation. Is he is going to use that to essentially give himself a backup uh, player. So I'm going to try to combine me actually playing the flute while using the musical notes from the spell as like the loot notes. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me another plus two <laughs> on your roll, but uh, this is advantage because of silvery barbs. <laughs> and he's going to get advantage, correct? Uh, oh yeah, if he chooses he himself. Yeah. All right. Oh, you bastard! He needed it. All right. I, I mean, son of a gun. Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> Performance. Oh my oh. God, oh, Lauren! <laughs> you don't even have to use your silvery barbs, man. <laughs> Lauren, oh, you God. you like nervously pull out your flute, and <laughs> I'm not, I hate to say it, but you jam it into your throat a little too deep and start <laughs> gagging on it as you misjudged where you're. Your uh, oh, God. for lack of a better better word, because I can't think of it. Your pecker, <laughs> your pecker is his beak, his beak. <laughs> and you just jam it. Oh. You <laughs> <laughs> As Theobard plays just the most terrific uh song that you've ever heard, you should not have messed with this bard. Nive oh. over in the corner has like her hands over her ears, like she always does when Lauren plays, because she uses <laughs> press digitation to play classical music into her ears when he's playing. She oh. lowers them for a second. It's just, is this oddly worse than usual from him? <laughs> All right, I just sober up immediately hearing how Lauren. Is. Do you? Uh, you've lost, but do you give up or do you attempt one more time to at least redeem some of your bardly? <laughs> Ability. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll go for the last one, trying to. He he choked up, but he's not a quitter. Uh, he'll go for it to uh, try to have some grace. All right. Uh, let's see. I can't Same wait. as before. Oh, disadvantage is a ten. No, no, you have. Oh wait, it was just for that one. It was just for that one. Still a ten. But it's still a ten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So at the end of this one. Theobard uh, has more fireworks go off, and this this fog rolls out. His his wi his hair flies back uh, in the wind, and uh, he just clearly outperformed you. Um. All right. Yeah. As uh, as he blows me over, I'm gonna swing right or swing right up and be like, double or nothing. <laughs> I've only got one instrument. 
Uh, I'll up my ante by another 20, so it'd be a total of... Oh, crap, I don't have 80 gold. No, wait. Yeah, also, I to, to <laughs> retcon a few things, because I didn't... Because out of character, I didn't know. Nive has all that gold that we got from the guy, because we're giving it to Oh, him. oh, oh, so. okay. And yes, also, I only so. spent 20 gold in the shop for parts and things, so... Look, Just your flute, oh, your loot for mine. Trust me, it's a hell of a deal if you win. All right, that sounds good to me. Still strumming the whole time. Yeah, they're still. Yeah, he's he's going back. He's going back to the. Oh wait, no, the loot was disadvantaged, yeah. not just the minus. He's sticking with the flute, with the backup loot, with the pre prestigitation. Uh, All right. It looks like Theobard feels bad for you, and he's he does no magic tricks this this time around. Okay. No, rub his face in it. What are you talking about? Just blow him out of the bar, dude. It's, it's just it's still uh, gonna be so hard to beat. He he's like he's like whispering under his breath, uh, just like back at the night owl, back at the night owl, and then he it's opens up into a new time. verse. Um, all right, let's see. Come on, I swear to God. Okay, it's sixteen. <laughs> I mean, he still beats you. He still lose, dude. You only seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just better. He's there just be he's just no built instruments. different, man. <laughs> he's built different. I told you this is my <laughs> set. Okay. Uh, Next roll. All right, let's see. Oh, come on, Grand. This is you insane. taught me. You taught me everything I know. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh. No. <laughs> better. I'm so glad that I ended up keeping the gold. She <laughs> was gone. <laughs> you guys finish. Um, and it comes to the conclusion. There's a every time Theobard plays, there's just a, a huge rise out of the crowd, the cheers, the wailing. Um, but when you play, <laughs> people cringe and and <laughs> block their ears, and it's clear there's a crowd favorite now. Um, uh, as Theobard comes to the last of his song. And a tear falls from his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, All right, now pay, pay up. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. I am a man of my word. Uh, what did we say? Ten gold. No, that'll be both <laughs> your instruments. I'm really, right, I'm uh... doing you a favor. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh snap! This is a vicious board. A vicious mockery, oh, baby. A vicious mockery. Take not damage. Not just Here. you a favor, but uh, let's just say those around you as well. Let's uh, let's just say that this this loot was a gift. What if I give you the flute and the twenty gold? Give me it's a persuasion special, check. It's broken. <laughs> this, you, this definitely requires a persuasion check because you made a deal with him, and you're this trying could to be not. This a whole story arc about getting your loot back. Yeah, it could, and we'll see. Because I have not been rolling great tonight. Oh, oh that hey. is a oh. twenty-five. <laughs> Look, you've been doing a persuasion battle. <laughs> your flute. Your flute. Twenty gold, and you never play in here again. <sighs> yes, and he he really kind of bows with a, a little bit of a flourish as he hands over the loot and the coins. Okay. Not my best night. Uh, where did you learn to play like that? College of Bards. <laughs> oh, Strict I'm not Haven. formally educated myself. <laughs> I have yet to master the art. Thank you for showering me with your greatness and he'll walk away in shame <laughs> you do hear some like <laughs> <laughs> he'll walk over he'll walk over to chef chef what's that drink i need something strong <laughs> i i need another after hearing that shit Hey, Lauren, oh, let's go boy, see boy. Large Luigi. He'll he be having something good for us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there is Hopefully already... She's not here yet. 
Um. Oh yeah, give me a perception check. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Ooh, just yeah, yeah, he's gonna get the, his lady friend is oh. here from the marketplace. All right, let's see. Oh no! <laughs> three natural ones. Three nat ones so far. You you <laughs> look <laughs> you look in the crowd for her, and you know it's actually such a good thing that you don't see what the audience sees, which is her like like just disgusted that she even <laughs> ever thought <laughs> that <laughs> there was a chance there between you two <laughs> and she just hangs her head and sh she just she leaves in kind of uh, a hurry hoping nobody th even thought that she could be there for you um but you, you don't see her. You gotta stop with the roll twenty tonight. The algorithm's against you, man. You gotta go physical. That's three Let's nat ones. Physical. Um, oh as my God. I think all roll really good tonight. I think Lauren is our is our. I took uh, all the bad favorite. luck. <laughs> as a drink starts to float your way and plops on the table. Thank you, Mr. Luigi. And he just g g g g g g downs it. This is no problem. <laughs> Look at how they massacred my boy. <laughs> Look how you massacred this bar. Yeah. <laughs> so. Are you going to do an encore, Lauren? <laughs> uh, well, I, I think I need to fix my loot. I, you know, I don't normally play that badly. <laughs> That way, it sounded great. You can so, see the people just writhe their faces in agony. You know, they do say art is about making people express emotion. The emotion yes. doesn't always have to be positive. Yeah, see, you're getting it. Hey, uh, Lauren, let me be seeing that loot you got there. Here, Chef. As I'm like drinking my drink, you just see Chef like arm kind of open up it's like these little tweezers and stuff come out and they begin like, fixing the string and everything on it and i'm gonna that's my version of casting mending awesome i love that you have that oh awesome oh thank you chef i auntie auntie chasia would have been quite quite mad if i <laughs> broke this for good <laughs> um also if i down that whole thing how, do, how fast does this thing hit um oh I'll, yeah what did he get oh i went for whatever you were drinking oh i'm, I just, I'm not drinking another one of those i'm just drinking normal <laughs> did you drink oh, okay, the yeah. balls did you drink the psycho knot earlier or the igu gander do you psycho, remember psycho knot that's the one with the mushrooms in it all right roll me roll me a constitution <laughs> save if you shoot all that right. back Let's see here. I swear to oh my God, God. get off. Oh, oh my God. God. With your rolls, dude. The algorithm's against you. Four nat ones, ladies and gentlemen. Four nat ones. You've got to go to manual, no, man. No, no, let's see if we can get it at 20 tonight. Let's see if Lauren just dies. You're dead, dude. <laughs> the world around you begins to wave. The colors shift from green to red to blue and portals around you begin to open as these little these little tiny elves like we would think of like christmas elves uh, no smaller than that like more like fairy pixie size start to dance around you and go wow you suck you're like the worst part i've ever heard no <laughs> oh, that's not very nice oh uh, chef I I don't remember there being little elves. Ooh, and like one's gonna the fall off his stools. <laughs> I gotta go to catch him. <laughs> Time's up for you. <laughs> oh now, oh here, let me play you a song. I, please don't be mean to do that. You not be mean to do that there, Lauren. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> I'm looking at uh... Claire doing like Thanks, Chef. Are are we are we going through the portals? <laughs> uh no, no, but whatever you do, don't be looking at the floor. Sometimes it'd be looking like lava. 
What's on the floor? And he's going to look at the floor. He's going to twist his head all the way around and look at the floor. <laughs> the floor. I'll drop him because that freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> you thud to the ground and you feel yourself land in a nice, soft grass, like, you know, a nice pile of grass. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, it takes me back. I take Clara, I not be known if he's on psychedelics or on that Molly thing, but let's go. <laughs> he, he, he's feeling the rush, the adrenaline from his performance. It has to be. Oh, no, I think it'd be from that drink. Penelope, we have to get back to town. Your father's gonna get mad. I give him a glow stick to play with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow oh, is it like bending and stuff in my hand like that limp noodle or something <laughs> with a nat uh, one i'm also gonna say you i think you have the poison condition oh, no. <laughs> oh nice nice that's just disadvantage on checks right yeah on attacks i think it might not even be checks. oh attack rolls and ability checks yep oh there you go <laughs> we're shooting Jolson. Nice. i'm gonna go ahead and bring him to his room okay <laughs> good idea as he walks you like to the door it's it's like these these trees start to sprout out of the ground that look like mushrooms, and it's it's just weird. Oh, those look so soft. I could sleep on those, Chef. I am not be seeing what you're talking about. You can't be sleeping on large Luigi's tables. He'd be furious with you. Oh, I thought those were mushrooms. That was so cool. Mushroom tables, mushroom land. Oh. Imagine if he would have felt the eye about the holder drink. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I guess if you're like helping him into bed or whatever, he's like, Can you tell me a story, chef? Uh, once nice there was tail. a little bird um, who thought he could sing, and uh, instead he got high off mushrooms and fell asleep. The end. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. As he's asleep, <laughs> just so he doesn't wander off, I am going to take a piece of rope <laughs> and tie it around his ankle to the bed so that he doesn't like... But I'm going to cover it up because if he does wake up in the night and he just looks down, I don't want him freaking out thinking there's a snake tied to his leg. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking about these things. I'm going to cover it up, you know, and be like, hey, you not be wandering off tonight. Okay, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren goes to bed. Um, is there anything the rest of you want to do? Are Clara and Neve alone in the bar then? Because, yes, or they did were. Did she go with Chef? They, uh, I believe they would be unless Clara wandered off. No, nah, she's she's gonna wait till um, Neve leaves. Oh, well, in that case, so <laughs> Clara, interesting uh, change in appearance. Anything going on with that? She vibrates for a bit and says, uh. <laughs> No, 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 nothing of the sort. You know, as as uh, as as ladies as we are, uh, we must update our appearance frequently. Yes. Roll insight on that vibration. <laughs> <laughs> I got eighteen. I mean, uh, you, you're like Grace. If you if you're challenging that with a deception or something, you can roll deception to see what you roll. Oh, no, that's Claire's name. You know what Claire's getting this. I'm going to roll it just because, but let me see. I'll say update my browser because I got on the slow thing. As the dice slowly rolls, <laughs> it's slowly going. Oh, jeez. Uh, I need to turn on, I need, yeah, I need to turn on yeah. acceleration. Oh, yeah, I got eight. Clearly, clearly not being, yeah, forthcoming. Yeah. Yes, yeah, says... Ladies, we do have to keep up appearances, don't we? And just so you know, as ladies, you can always confide in me and things that you have going on. 
I could. I could. I could. I just want you to be aware of that. And um, if ever you find some free time while we're on the ship and want to come down uh, to my quarters, we could run some tests. I'm very intrigued with the makeup of your anatomy. That vibration thing was interesting. You see Clara quickly stand up and say, Well, uh, it's time to hit the trail of the of Dusty. And she quickly walks off. Of course. Um, and then with that, she'll like take out a piece of paper from her pack. She has like the pack of gold like on her lap so that yeah. nobody can come up behind her and take it. But she takes like a small piece of paper out of her pack and hands it to uh, Simon, her unseen servant, who... Uh, can you get wine, Elvish, preferably from Large Louise, please? And she'll hand him uh, two gold and send him over to get it. Yeah, a few minutes later, a mug or a, a glass of wine is brought over to your table via telepathy. And she kind of leaned back in the chair. Mage hand lifts it up to her so she can drink out of it. Keeps getting more interesting by the moment around here. Uh, she'll she'll sit there for a little bit and ponder before going to her room. Okay, uh, you probably uh, end up passing Chef um, on your way out. Oh. Yeah, you guys just like nod to each other. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Devay goes up to her room. Chef, what are you doing? I just get destroyed at the bar. How many <laughs> How many drinks do you think you have? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not drinking any more of that weird stuff. Yeah, that's just, for yeah. Sure, but <laughs> I don't know, probably like a good eight to nine mugs. Yeah, roll me a constitution saving throw. Sorry. This is, that's a lot. And you've already oh, yeah, had... I know. I know it's a lot. <laughs> From a personal experience, I know that that is a lot. Uh, con saving throw? Yeah. Hey, I'm good at these. What I get? Oh, God. It's a 10. Yeah, um... Uh, you, you, you're not gonna be poisoned from this or anything. Um, but yeah, you're you're nice and sloshed. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, I just spend the night talking to Luigi before going to sleep. <clears throat> anything particular? Not really. Okay. And then toward the end of the night, as it's winding down, the customers all are leaving Luigi. The chef, um, my boy, it's time <laughs> for you to go to bed. Ah, yes, yes, Luigi. Thank, thanks for the conversations and the good beer. I'll see you in the morning, I'm sure. And, uh, I'll nod down my last one and then start wobbling my way to wherever I sleep. Okay. So, y'all have a good night's sleep. Um, I am going to level you guys to three. Yeah. yeah. Let's That go. means he's going to try and Just kill kidding. us in a minute. I'm oh, you're not? not? Just kidding. I'll go ahead. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh. Are we or are we? <laughs> are we or no? Tell me now. Go ahead. <laughs> um, but we're going to take a quick break. I know... Oh, Very early break. Early break. Uh, as they level. We'll see you guys in just a second. Whoop. Welcome back. Sorry, guys. Shortcut there so that the uh, the group here could level up. Um, you bed your... You know, you put your heads down on your beds. They're uh, they're, they're all right. They, you know, pretty... Nive doesn't. <laughs> become, oh, what's Nive do? Just well, kinda because meditate. she's an astral elf, so she trances, and during that time she's completely conscious. And fun thing about astral elves in Eladrin is that when they trance, they go through the shared elven history and are able to like look for information through that. So she's like sitting cross-legged on the floor, just levitating maybe half an inch off the floor. Uh, her hair is out of her tight bun that she usually wears and it's like past her shoulders but slightly lifting as well 
um, as her her arcane focus, that silver orb that orbits around her all the time, slowly, lazily orbits around her. And as she switches to a different topic uh, in the shared elven history, it spins in a different orbit rotation and starts rotating that way. Uh, and she does that for four hours and has the bag of gold right in front of her. So nobody is there can fucking anything steal it from particular her. <laughs> that that is Neve so cool. is like searching for through these histories? Um, she's like she's picking up things and seeing if she wants because she can. Uh, astral elves can change two proficiencies every day if they want to. Uh, she's gonna keep the ones that she has for now. So she's just gonna like pick into different sciences and look for more information on, especially things on gravity and black holes that have been found throughout history. Um, okay. And also, mm -hmm. if that fucking alarm bell goes off, she can hear it. <laughs> heckin'. Yes, heckin'. <laughs> heckin' alarm bell, guys. But um, yes, you meditate and, and and go through this astral elf trance, um, and as you know. Four, maybe like 5 a.m. rolls rolls around. You're awoken, any of you who are sleeping, by the sounds of explosions. <laughs> and grunts and steel seems to be coming from down below. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Did we still long rest? You did long rest. It was enough to get a long <laughs> oh, <thank> rest. God. <laughs> I was being extra nice. <laughs> but Lauren like shoots out of bed and immediately trips and falls on his face because the uh, the rope tied around his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> and he'll just like slash that rope with his talons and rush out like looking I'm for everybody else. Out of the door. Yeah, how about all of you roll me initiative, mm. and we'll figure out what order oh. you guys do things in. All right. Mm, I got a zero. Oh, oops, I wasn't <laughs> Noise. Oh, I got a 11. I got I a you, seven. I thought you had a plus. Oh, you have. Oh, I thought you said you rolled a zero, but you have a plus. Oh, zero, no. That's no. what you meant. I I'm got like, a three. Zero, you have zero. <laughs> <laughs> I got 13. Well, I keep. There's always like a big die, and I'm like, I hope that's not the one that's disadvantage. It ma makes sense Ooh. that you base first because she'd probably be awake by this point because yeah. she only needs four hours. As she just slowly floats up to her feet and lands on her feet. The goddess. <laughs> Why is my initiative bonus four? Isn't initiative just uh, dexterity? Um, do you have extra stuff being an owl in? Oh, could. I don't know. Maybe. I know Heron gone get extra stuff. I don't know if Alan's do. So uh, you are awoken with the thunderous crashes of uh, explosions and and grunts and, and like i said clanging of swords um you run downstairs it would be uh neve who acts first neve uh what are you doing um so where where whereabouts do i start this turn um you're so you're in your bedroom okay um i will walk over to the door and open the door okay you open the door and you look out here you don't see anything Uh, can I try to perceive where it's coming from? Absolutely. Roll my perception. Ooh, perception is an 18. Okay. Uh, you hear it sounds like it's coming from inside the happy beholder. Do I want to get involved in this? <laughs> um, how much movement did I have to use to get across the room? Five feet. Um, I will walk over towards the uh, the top of the stairs. I assume yeah. it's like a dot balcony we're on to go yeah. down. I'll walk over to the top of the stairs and wait for others to join. Okay. So I am interested to see what is, is happening. Is that what all the rest of you are doing as well as you're going to go check it out? Yeah, I'm behind yeah. everybody though because I'm a little groggy from the night before. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so you all head down. You get gathered together. You all head down the stairs and into the happy beholder or at least the door of the happy beholder um where inside you see 
uh, large Luigi um, surrounded, or not so much surrounded. He is currently um, uh, in a combat with what appears to be a leather clad, like a black leather clad individual. Um, and there seems to be a few others kind of encroaching up behind him as well. You do see there's like these bodies on the ground. One, one of them is like half incinerated, like half of his body's missing. Um, the other one seems to have a giant bite gash taken out of him. Uh, his organs spilled out on the ground. Um, you see like scorch marks in the ground and it's smoldering. And the, the room is starting to kind of fill with a, a thin layer of smoke at the top. Um, what do you guys do? What's Yarr. going on, Luigi? <laughs> we gotta be helping him. Of and course. These individuals have broke into my establishment. Mm, what well, do do? that's Don't good enough for me. What they did to his boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so we'll start with Neve since... It would like you guys all went together in there. Uh, Neve rolled the highest initiative. Neve. Yeah, she did. Um, from the door, she will cast her new cantrip, uh, Firebolt, at the closest guy. Okay. Hey, do, 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 do. Uh, that will be a really high number to hit. Uh, Firebolt plus seven, so a 23. That's uh, That is going to hit, yes. Woo. Smoked with eight fire damage. She just raises her hand, and it looks like a meteorite shoots out and hits him square in the chest as he turns to see them entering. Bastards. He responds. Uh, anything else, Neve? Let's make this evitation. No, stop. Map, stop. I don't want to go that way. No, map, stop. It keeps moving up every time I try to move her. Go oh, down. No. There we go. I want to be back here. way back there. <laughs> Backing up. I'm not running in there. I'm a wizard, for God's sake. And that will be her turn. Okay. Uh, Lauren. All right. Uh, so we're like, I'm trying to just remember. We're kind of at, like at the top of the stairs, right? Still? No, you're you're at the doorway of the happy. Oh, okay. Okay. There. So. Oh, gotcha. All right. Yes. Yeah, so you're essentially where you are on the map. Yeah. How high is the ceiling in the Happy Beholder? Um, it's maybe like a, it's maybe 15. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, so Lauren will take a step in and, uh, woof, uh, fly up to essentially as high as he can up to the roof. Um, and I guess, uh, he would look at so right just since we're coming in this is like the only way in here right like they would have to come through us to get out to leave uh roll me a perception okay do, 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 do. that is perception four or five uh you're not <laughs> sure hmm okay uh so um he is going to cast uh he's gonna look at the one in front of him and cast vicious mockery as he sh pulls out his loot nice and renewed and just lets out a little i slept with mother last night <laughs> now there's more than one disappointment in her life and uh as he does that at him and so he needs to beat a dc 14 wisdom save did you just say that sh her sleeping with you was a d disappointment <laughs> for her? <laughs> but also her son was a disappointment to her. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he makes. Oh, no. And he, he points out the <laughs> same thing. He's like, isn't that, isn't that an insult to you? It's an insult to both of us, but I'll, you know, I'll come up with another one. <laughs> Lauren takes damage. <laughs> Lauren hit himself and it's confusion. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is all I got. 
Okay. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, bonus action, he'll look back to uh, Chef and say, You do it, little man. I know you can. Show him I... how big you are. <laughs> Who do you be calling him? little there, bird boy? <laughs> You're stout. Stout and sturdy. All right. And, uh, oh, yeah, he rolls the die. So, yeah, he has that. Mm -hmm. With little legs, because I only have 25 foot movement, and none of these guys are within <laughs> range of that. That's okay, because it's their turn. And the nice. one who Lauren oh, tried to insult looks and points at one of the ones further up, and he says, You, Herb Johnson, I'll handle, or me and you. And he points to the other one, We'll handle these guys. And, uh, he starts to walk over. Wait, hold on, Lauren, were you flying? Yes. Yeah, okay. I flew up the ceiling 15 so, foot. So instead, he he draws a crossbow and he aims it up at uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. This guy only has daggers. He draws, he pulls a dagger from a sheath and tries to throw it at you. Bring it. Let's go. Uh, for 21. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I was expecting a nat 20, to be honest. With Four <laughs> piercing. Ooh, for four piercing. Yeah. If it's stuck in me, can I take it? <laughs> Um, sh sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess so. He yanks it out, throws it back in. Yeah, this this one particular seems to have this big belt, uh, like two belts of daggers all across his chest. <laughs> yeah, no, he, that's pretty like fancy. <laughs> um, this one does have a crossbow, so this one pulls the crossbow out and aims it up at Lauren. <laughs> Whoops. That one's a nat 20. Oh, <laughs> silvery barbs, yeah. silvery barbs. Okay, silvery barbs. That's good. So <laughs> it's a 15 then. Does that hit? Yeah, that's still okay. So it does <laughs> It does four, four piercing. So, nice, nice. All right. Low roll on and, the damage. Uh, I will give Chef the advantage. I, I still be having little legs. No, <laughs> none of them came close to me. <laughs> um, uh, this one starts. To, he kind of like looks. He looks back at the the guy with all those daggers and those in the belts, and he looks kind of like like f you, dude. I, like he's he's scared to go, uh, but he does it anyways. He moves a little closer and lifts the crossbow over toward the beholder, and fires. Uh, and it doesn't, it didn't roll. Hmm. Let's go, I'll just manually roll. Oh, shit. That actually hits large Luigi. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He is large. Don't be upset. Large Five. Luigi's got to kill him. <laughs> uh, and then Johnson, as you guys now know his name, will appear. Uh, <laughs> takes a step, leaps up onto the armchair here and uh, attempts to stab with one of his, uh, with a scimitar uh, and misses and then follows up with his offhand dagger and manages to cut large Luigi uh, like on his forehead, his big bulbous forehead. Huh. Uh, it's large Luigi's turn. <laughs> Is it playing twice? Oh, the music, I see. Oh, I, I see, I see. I didn't mute the music on one of my accounts. Heck. Oh, whoops. I wonder if it was like that for the past two episodes. Probably. Probably. Bummer. Sorry, audience. It's been figured out now. Um. So, uh, he... Oh my gosh, there's so many things you can do. Beholder. <laughs> Um, yeah, you could probably just kill all of them by himself. Yeah, absolutely. Like, to be honest, <laughs> he showed me what you got. Oh, I'm just gonna. Show I'll roll a ray got. on him. He's gonna. Sh he's, so he's gonna shoot three rays because that's what they do. <laughs> yep. Um. And they're they'll just be random rays. Let's see, one, two, three. All right, charm ray. Um. A charm ray shoots out toward the one that fired the crossbow at Lauren. Uh, so this guy needs to make a wisdom save. He fails. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. You don't you don't get the issue of command. He just is friendly toward 
cards Luigi now. Um, then the one Johnson gets hit with a Enervation Ray. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so this, um, this, like, beam, uh, bursts out of one of the Beholder's eyes. It's like a black, um, black beam that hopefully starts to, like, disintegrate flesh off of Johnson, but I'm trying to figure out what his score is. Hold on. Johnson. Oh, Johnson. What's your score? What's your con? What's your con? Uh, he fails. Uh, and he's gonna take a good chunk of damage as you watch, like, um, shoulder meat start to disintegrate off of, off of Johnson. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then the last one got hit with a sleep ray. Okay. Which is the one directly behind the fire the crossbow at large Luigi. He fails. I'm just going to say, yeah, he falls asleep. There's no way he doesn't. <laughs> All right. So. Um. This got dealt with much, much quicker than I, I, uh, I it's imagined. <laughs> Gets a bunch of weenies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Clara, it's your turn. Okay, so Clara Singh, finally noticing that uh, there's a commotion. She's going to, I think I did that wrong movement. Yeah, I can do that in short movement. She is going to um, quickly move out the doorway. And as she's moved out the doorway, she's going to, you know, kind of kick off of it using all of her movement to jump to about right there and that's 40 feet right in front of this guy and then as she gets in front of him as a running start she's going to do a somersault kick for an unarmed strike awesome so let's do it that's a two we got a bonus action she's gonna use that bonus action for the unarmed strike whipping back around for a punch Dear God, that's 12. <laughs> Misses. You're yeah. not real well. I'm really fine. <laughs> he like, he was, uh, he was already kind of like looking that way. And, uh, he, you know, he pulls up his, his arms and blocks your blows. You'll get him next oh. time, Clara. There uh, won't be a next time for him. Anything else? Uh, no, that will do it. Chef. Oh, Chef's gonna waddle his short legged <laughs> ass in there. <laughs> He's just gonna walk in to get shot a bunch of times. <laughs> He's like, hey, I ain't be coming. <laughs> one, one, two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I'm gonna run twenty-five foot in. <laughs> I'm like breathing. So close. Find a hangover. I'm just already sweating profusely <laughs> from all the alcohol. I you know, look up at this guy with his big beard, and I look over at the other guy, and I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you, Clara." <laughs> Take my hand axe out, and just <laughs> so you see, like these. Uh, I'm, I'm just flavoring it this way, but you see, like these hand axe like pop out of his arm as he just kind of like it just kind of shoots arm. out. Yeah, as it like flings it out and you see like this uh there's like a wind up whenever it happens like a little build up and then it throws it real fast and i'm just gonna throw a hand axe at this guy all right oh you have advantage too oh yeah advantage thanks for that i forgot you also have bardic, also, inspo, I have that right? bardic inspiration yeah. too. you do yeah so let's go ahead and let's do oh. hand axe. what hmm oh let's just see what happens oh so 15 that uh, hits. i'll tell you yeah sweet uh let's go ahead and do some damage here oh so five slashing damage but the whole build up is actually that it was winding up to do is actually one of my new things which is psionic power psionic strike uh, you can propel your weapons with psionic force once on each of your turns immediately after you hit a target in 30 foot of you with an attack and deal damage to it with a weapon. You can expend one psionic target, one psionic die 
uh, energy die dealing 1d6 plus 1 force damage. Okay. So, I think... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, two. Two force damage. I rolled a one on the six. On the Still, six. while, like, Clara runs in there and tries to attack, and he, he pulls up his hands and blocks those blows, you are you manage to get this axe thrown right into his gut uh, for a real nasty hit. And, uh... That'll be it for me. Okay. Uh, Neve. Um, um, it's your turn. You will fire off another firebolt at the same guy. Okay. Another meteor shot for a dirty 20. Um, and that does nine points of damage. Awesome. Just covering them as they go in. That will be her turn. Uh, Lauren, your go. <laughs> so uh, he is going to uh, look back at the one and uh, say, well, the last one went right over your head, so I'll dumb it down for you. So much so that an intellect devourer would pass right over you. Um, and he'll cast a uh, vicious mockery on him again. So see if he passes. You can tell he Bjorn fails. does his homework. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, sweet. For four psychic damage. Yes. As uh, uh, that was he better also one. has disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sweet. So, yeah, now his next attack is at disadvantage. Um, okay. All right. And, uh, yeah, I already... I'll, I'll hold on my bardics. I ran out of those way too quick last time. So that's all I got. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bandit's turn. Uh, he moves up with this this axe still in his gut. Um, he pulls it out of his gut and dra draws a dagger, and he's, <laughs> he's gonna like, swing both so badass. at Chef uh, for a ten. Um, that's, that's a miss. And then he's gonna attack with his dagger, a thirteen. That is also a miss. Uh, yeah, he uh, he misjudged. Uh, he pulled the de he pulled the axe from his stomach, and he he was not ready for the uh, the lightheadedness from the blood loss. <laughs> <laughs> Splatters on the ground. I I wouldn't be doing that if I was you. Cooler in my head. Um, yeah, the first attack was two tens, so the disadvantage didn't, didn't even matter. But in a good, you know, it's all right. Sorry. Um. Uh, crossbow bolt uh, from the the one to Chef's left uh, is gonna fire again at Lauren um, for a oh, I don't know why I rolled that on there for a eleven to hit. Who he like sees it coming and just smacks it away with his loot. Awesome. <laughs> um, this was gonna fire at. Beholder again hits. Why are they able to hit the Beholder? It doesn't make no sense. It's and just a big fleshy Large guy. Luigi be getting old in his old age. One of the <laughs> other tougher looking ones, Johnson, who's been squared off with the Beholder, now goes to attack the Beholder for the nat 20. Okay, that's nice. Uh, did that guy shoot him with a crossbow, the one that's sleeping? Oh, oh that's true. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's sleeping. All right, so I'll give that back. But the other one, nat 20s. Oof. Oh, my <laughs> lord. Um, oh, sweet lord. You should have brought an army to this fight. It's at this point, Neve, you hear the alarm spell go off in your head. Our friend has awoken. Um, It is now Beholder's turn. He's going to bite the... <laughs> Bandit in front of him. Eat him. Eat him. Yeah. He's, He's gonna just gonna eat freaking him. eat him. Okay, yeah, that's gonna hit. Um, as you watch, big beholder jaw clench down on the fist of this guy. Uh, he he squeals out in pain and agony, 
He's still hanging on for dear life, but barely. Missing a hand. He's screaming. <laughs> um, it is now... Clara's turn. Uh, after those two misses, she looks uh, back, I, I guess the, they're bandits or whatever? Yeah, and they... She looks back at them. Go ahead. They appear to be, you would think, either some sort of bandits or pirates. They're clad in black leathers. Some of them have hoods. Right. And she, she gives him a look and whispers to him. She's like, unfortunately for you, I'm not missing this time. And she's going to once again, punches on the strikes. Ha! Oh, bonus action. She's getting frustrated. F off. What are you anyways? I don't think the oh. internet is the play tonight, people. <laughs> Eight to 10 does not hit, so. Yeah, he, he just continues to block those blows. Uh, chef, if Clara's done. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, with that, uh, you just see he pulls out this big serrated meat cleaver. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I'm sorry, but I be needing to put you down. Oh. Uh, we, we, it seems we in a rush. As I turn and look at Neve, because I kind of hear her say that, and I just... Ooh, it's come bit right over the head. Like I kind of point over there at the beholder right as I come down with this uh with this giant meat cleaver. Uh, da -da -da. And bam. See what I got. What I get. I got a 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> I keep forgetting uh, that he has an ability to parry, but it doesn't. It wouldn't matter in this situation. Actually, to spend one of those. Okay, I will do the swingy swing. Swing. Uh, swing. One d eight. He's doing it one handed. That is seven slashing. And I'm going to expend another one of these as like I, as I was raising my hand, you see like this little jet engine almost seems to go off in my arm as it chops down really fast. Uh, bow. That's better. Bow. For, well, do it. Okay, three force damage. Mm-hmm. And, uh... It's got bulky. Yeah, you know what? Screw this guy. Action search. <laughs> nice. Um, let's see. As I action surge, I shot down once again after I like yank it out. Like I, I really thought that would have been doing you in. Let me try once again. How am I doing, Clara? <laughs> well, better than I am. Oh, not so good. That's you time. see. 14. Wait, I get Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> I don't know bardic. if that's going to hit. You do, you do. Oh, you I'm going to do my inspiration. Bardic Inspiration. And that's a D6? Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's roll this D6. Oh, that's going to be four. So, so that's 18. 18. Uh, so you you get you get that inspiration to make this, this miss hit. He goes up to block it with his dagger but he misses the block just barely as it comes through and connects. So go ahead, roll the damage. Oh, I knew you could do it, Chef. What I get? What? Five slashing damage, and I cannot do the psionic ability. I, can, I think I can only do that once per turn. Yeah, once on each of your turns. Okay, so yeah, that's all the damage I'll be doing this go round. And that'll be my turn. Okay, like, Neve. Disengage right now. Um, uh, she'll say, Lauren, don't be long. I may need assistance. The other two can take care of this. Uh, and she'll start walking towards the stairs. I don't know how far away they are. Uh, they're probably your... Uh, you know, I can probably calculate it out really fast. Um, they're... Uh, let's be... Hold on. Let's be more direct. And while he calculates that, you said, uh, Lauren, don't take too long. The other two are fine? Yeah. Okay. They're probably like 90-ish feet. 90? All right. Um, know. I'll walk 30. 
it, like what's the line of sight for me because i want to be able to see the bottom of the stairs at least um if you if you were to stand like here or he, maybe here you could just make out oh so i don't even have to use my full movement to start seeing things um yeah i'll go 30 so 5 10. if you're trying to see the staircase is that what you mean yeah, I want to see if I can yeah. see anybody coming down it. Okay. Well, that's 30. You round the corner, Neve, and at the top of the staircase, you do seem to see another black-clad bandit just kind of uh, just kind of keeping, like, a lookout up here. He seems to be, like, scanning the uh, the area. So there might be another inside then. I don't know if I can get a line of sight to hit inside. Well, I technically don't need it, I guess. Uh, and I'm not afraid to do some collateral damage here. Um, And I've got a 60 foot range. So is it 60 foot to where that guy is standing or uh, from where I am? From where you are, he would be about yeah. He's about like 85. Okay, so. Mm, that's just out of my freaking range, too. If I even use my stuff. Heckin'. You do still have more movement, right? You were like here. So you should have oh. at least five more feet. Oh, oh, so if I move five, then it's down to 80. Yep. Right? Mm hmm. Oh, I had more than enough movement anyway. Um, so as as she sees this, uh, as she's just striding forward, she'll disappear in a burst of stars and reappear 30 feet closer. She uses her star light step uh, as her bonus action. Um, and then she will raise her hand again like she's grasping an orb and start to crush it. And I'm going to place my second level magnify gravity as a center on top of him uh and it'll be a 10 foot radius to everything around him and start to get crushed by this force and they have to do a anything that's within it uh is a con save so hopefully it hits people inside because a 10 foot radius inside as well it's a 10 foot radius open. but it would hit the building even if it doesn't have an open door or something okay it was a con save con save yep that's an eight that's gonna fail um anybody else making saves um let me uh let me roll something really quick to determine <laughs> if anybody else is making saves so i placed it so hopefully it hit everybody in the room so if there's anybody else in the room you're, they'll get hit <laughs> you're aiming at like at the top of the staircase right where the guy was the bandit i'm placing the i'm placing the center of it on the stair where he's standing okay so then it's a 10 foot radius everywhere from him down and up and side to side because it is a sphere. Um, yeah. Okay. So how much? How much damage? Um, uh, ten force damage, and anything that failed, their speed is halved until the end of its next turn. Um, and any objects need a strength check to pick up or move. He, that is within that sphere. You cast this and start crushing him. This this oppressive gravity well essentially is, starts crushing him. He falls to his knees and he's <coughs> trying to get air back into his lungs. Um, he looks effed up. I would stop doing what you're doing if I were you. And she just continues to crush. And that'll be her turn. Okay. Uh, Lauren. All right. Um, can I do that thing we had talked about where I close my wings to fall and try to open them at the last second? <laughs> sure. <laughs> he yeah. breaks his knees. Roll me, <laughs> you know, a athletics <laughs> or acrobatics, whatever one. All right. Let's do acrobatics. Yeah. 13. Sure. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll just yeah, make so, that a 10. Like, it's not like super hard because you're a bird. So you're used to this stuff, but. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, as he like whooshes out the wings to land, he just looks at that guy last time. Oh, with a face like that, I wish I could cast blindness on myself. 
uh, for one last uh, vicious mockery. Uh, you rolled a 16. Oh, no! <laughs> but instead, I'll just leave. <laughs> He'll go out um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I, so am I, like, at the top of the stairs or still low? Like, can I see Neve up there? Uh, you fly outside and around the corner. You can see Neve clearly, and... Um... You can you can see at the top of the staircase there seems to be another one of these bandit like people who is like collapsed and like like trying to trying to breathe really hard, um, but they're they're far from you. They're like they're gonna be like 90, gotcha. 95 feet. Okay, yeah, he'll just say he'll also say, uh, "Oh, I see you've met our wonderful wizard here. She is exceedingly powerful, and uh, that's his bardic inspiration for Ooh. her." <laughs> Imagine training at one hundred times her normal gravity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Man's trying to turn Super Saiyan out here in the streets. Hey. Okay. <laughs> um. It's the bandits go. Bandit. Uh, this one uh, that is like wounded on the staircase uh, starts to crawl uh, toward like the like on the other side of the wall that you can't see. Um, so like away, like he's not coming down the staircase. He's going further into like where the rooms are. He's like mm. crawling his way over there. <laughs> um, He's like, help, help. Ugh. Um, the ones inside, the big one that with all the daggers, uh, it's gonna try and take a cut at Clara. Um, for a twenty-two. Ooh, that hits. Or for slashing as no, chefs. I'm going to use my. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna use my uh, protection on Clara as I pull my cutting board in front of her uh, and cast disadvantage on that attack roll. Disadvantage for an eight as yeah, uh, this hit, this this swing of the the axe, uh, Chef's own axe is coming clean at you. Chef whoosh, pulls out his cutting board and catches the axe <laughs> in a magnificent display. Um, uh, but the dagger starts to come in uh, down low uh, for nine and misses. Uh, he's just so thrown off. Uh, Mr. Crossbow McCrossbow, he has reloaded his crossbow and goes to fire again at Chef. Um, and misses. Uh, <laughs> and then he says, all right, screw this. I'm leaving. I'm not getting paid enough. And he starts to like run for a uh, a table, and uh, anybody looking over there, what Lauren missed with his perception earlier was a window that they had broken through. So uh, he's he's running toward what appears to be a window to escape. Um, one fighting large Luigi. Nat twenty. <laughs> this guy Luigi's is just gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no, Luigi has so much health; he'll be fine. Um, and then he comes in with the dagger as well for a twenty total. Okay. Okay. Um, large That's Luigi. For. Large Luigi says, "Uh." Uh, you're gonna make for a nice snack, and uh, he's he's gonna take another bite. And an obvious hit. I mean, I don't know why I'm rolling at this point. <laughs> he's gonna insane to hit. Um, and you watch as large Luigi's mouth, he just floats over the top of Johnson here, and just mouth goes fully like over his midsection clamps down you hear a snap a pop before his teeth go all the way through and he just bursts like a gusher in his mouth Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> Sam <Samson laughs> over there. <laughs> he, Mars look Luigi, at... turns to look at the one running away as he like continues to scatter and like trips over some chairs, trying to get the hell out of there. Hey, um, Clara, that looked like a bloody zit. <laughs> it looked glorious. <laughs> Chef is concerned by the response. <laughs> I don't think Neve would have an angle on this, but Lauren, roll me a perception. Okie dokie. Perception would be 13. Uh, you make out a brief outline of this um, smaller figure looking out the window that you, you know to be Gimbal's. Uh, he like peers out the window and then comes back in and you see a brief flash of light. Um up in up in his room Got, okay so real quick because we're in the hallway up here right no so you're outside his, so like... the way that this works oh, sorry okay, okay. I, I should have described this better it's happy beholder is like its own separate building and then mm. joint adjoined off the back side is like the sleeping section so oh, okay, okay it's like and outdoor it okay. it's like outdoor staircase leads to a hallway mm -hmm. and the rooms are off of that hallway and like gotcha, that, gotcha, that gotcha. hallway is you know up like 20 feet or i don't know 10 feet 15 feet something like that tall okay so cool and then would lauren know enough about magic to like make anything of the flash of light like would that be like a indicator of him like misty stepping or something like that uh yeah roll me arcana check all right oh i have a plus zero to these baby all uh, right That's you can 13. assume some sort of magic was cast um, the exact spell you're not sure, but in this situation you might think, yeah, maybe maybe a teleportation of some sort. Uh, yeah, he'll just kind of see that. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Nive, someone might be making way with Gimbal. Magic involved. <laughs> uh, Clara's turn. All right, well, after seeing that amazing blood works and feeling inspired from getting saved by Chef, she is going to wind up once again, unarmed strike. There we go, 23. There you go. I, there you go, be, there you go, Clark. All it's right, for a, I should do this a better way. Seven damage. Awesome. It looks very low. All right, and she's so after that like first right punch, she winds up the left fist and swings with it. Oh, for twelve. <laughs> that one misses. <laughs> yep. And that that will do it. You wound up a little too much. And throw yourself past him, uh, chef. Ah, uh, don't worry, Clara. I, I, I see an opening as I go to just... As he goes to juke her, like, punch, I'm just going to come in from the side with this uh, meat cleaver to just go chopping right at the neck. Uh, you know, chef's a chef, you know? He, he knows all the tender spots. Okay. Let's do it. I'm going to miss this one, watch. Nice. 18! It, hits, it just hits again. Nice. <laughs> Heck yeah. Get, get pissed on. <laughs> Seven slashing. Okay. Uh, is he, well, you know what? Screw it. I'll do my Sonic thing too. To try and like push all the way through his neck. Bam. What I get. Oh, Bam, max damage. damage. Nice. Oh force my God. Damage. That's what you needed to kill him. So what does this look like? So as I like chop into his neck, you just see like my like. Like these little vents on the side of my arm kind of open up and shoot out like this pressure as it pushes all the way through just a nice clean cut, just like professional, like a filet mignon of the neck. <laughs> yeah. Uh beautifully done um Neve um Lauren has just sent you information 
I relayed yeah, to I you information. I was mistaken because I thought the guy was standing outside of his door, but he wasn't. He was standing at the end of the stairs, if I'm now correcting myself. Yeah, I should have made a so map for up there, and I didn't. It's totally fine. Um, so where is that window then compared to where I am currently? Is it like behind so, me? Let me, I'll, I'll do like a small drawing. So like, okay. let's say, oh sh shoot. Okay. This is, this is kind of rough. <laughs> this is like the stairs right okay. here's like the the landing mm -hmm. and then like back here <laughs> back here is where all the rooms are so like this this is still part of the staircase and landing the rooms are all up in this room area do 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 the window for his room was on this side probably like here Okay, so I can't actually see that. Yeah, then, you probably it's behind be the building. It's, okay. It would be a rough angle for you. Yeah, that's Lauren was just barely able to see this. Oh, because I saw that through the inside of the bar. No, you. Well, you were outside of the bar. Oh um, no, I just meant because if if that window is all the way over there and I was down here, I was. Were you flying or were you down on the ground? I thought, oh, I thought oh, you were, I, I was down on the ground. I thought you were still up yeah, 15 a, feet, so did, I thought you'd no, be able he to did see. A little drop. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we'll we'll see. 15 foot in the air. <laughs> Lauren, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't question me. <laughs> so I, after, after doing all my stuff last turn, I was 50 feet from where that guy was standing. Um, so, uh, God, I can't even get that far. Um, Heck, I'll use my dash. Uh, so I will. God, I can't get far enough to starlight step though, because I have to be able to see where I'm going. Um. Well, if Lauren would have been able to see like over the building, because he's flying. So, is, are the is the, like the balcony higher than the building then? Yeah. So this the staircase comes up to like the height of the roof of the Happy Beholder. And how high is the happy and then, beholder? Happy beholder's like, you know, 15, 20 feet tall. Um, and then the the second floor essentially, like partially overhangs. I guess when I drew it, I should have I should have drawn it more like. Oh, shoot. Uh Should have drawn it more like this, I guess technically. So like the the window would have been more like here you know it's it, huh? it, it slightly overhangs it that's all more doable um but that's the right as my as uh neve will just put her hands on the side and start floating up in the air using her levitation boots uh get 20 feet in the air and when she can see because she started here i should have moved forward i'm gonna move forward first i find it 30 and now she'll levitate um and then she will starlight step over onto the balcony so she's closer to that room okay. um and that's unfortunately all she can do this turn yeah so you're probably oh shoot oh so do you have to be able to see where you're going yeah okay. i assumed you could see the whole thing once i got up over the building so let me so like That's why this I levitated is up so I could yeah see. no so like this is the balcony, this is where the like wall for like the rooms would be and it's the it's a duplicate on the other side. So like you could be oh, you can either so you like walk down the middle. I yeah see what you you're can, saying now. you can either land there like the or okay. you can attempt to land in the window of this room. <laughs> if you wanted, you could see into the room. Can I know whose room that was? <laughs> you. I'll give a, if I roll above a fifteen, that was one of your rooms. Right. That was one of your rooms. Who's okay, I don't know. I, I'll starlight step into that room. <laughs> it's it. You starlight step into this room and it reeks of, of ass. Yeah. Whose room could that be? <laughs> that, that, that was yeah. <laughs> well, that's her turn. It smells about beer and crawl ditties. <laughs> uh. All right. Lauren, yeah. Okay, so if I saw all that jazz, can we just retcon me being over here and just flying up to the roof? <laughs> yeah, you can fly up onto the roof. 
Okay, cool. So yeah, 15 foot in the air. He's able to like just go right across the top, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, I guess he's just going to dash 60 foot over there. That is a this is a big building. Oh, geez, I already lost track of where that bar. was. Um, okay, right there. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, he'll dash over. Can I see anything through this window over here? Because you said he's, like, in this, right? So I just saw the flash come out of this one. Yeah, you saw the flash in this, this window here. Mm -hmm. Um... Hmm... Roll me a perception. Okie dokie. <laughs> Six. You don't see anything in there. You're not sure if it's just a weird angle or if there's nothing in there anymore. All right. Um. Oh, gee. What were we calling uh, Gimbal now? His code name? Was it Jeff or something? <laughs> oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, I'll just say, associate, everything is fine. Come to the window if you uh, want to see my wonderful face. And uh, that is all he will do. Okay. Um, bandits go. Uh, this one dashes out the window and goes somewhere. <laughs> um... Other stuff happens. Um, well, okay, that is uh, their turn. Uh, large Luigi, um, kind of like floats over to this one, uh, that's he put asleep earlier and he lifts him up with his telekinesis and places him on his bar. It's about to get awfully mob-like in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is uh, Clara's turn. Um, if you guys, I'd say Neve, um, we'll wait one more turn, actually. We'll go through one more turn, but Clara, what would you like to do? Uh, is, do, do uh, will I have to like enter the bar through like the main entrance over here, or...? Uh, so the there's, spot. oh, they get up at the, that part. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. you could, you could try to jump over, you know, like onto the, like over the railing or something. It's not too, right. too tall. Um, I still think that's like, you know what? She'll, she'll take her time. We'll just going to move. Um, we're just going to move her right there. And I'll be it. Okay. Uh, chef, you uh, you could use the dash action if you wanted to get further. Yeah, we'll use the dash action when we actually get that movement. Are you? Do you have 35 feet of movement because you're a monk? I have uh, 40 currently. Oh, 40. So, yeah, you could get all the way, you know, up here. Oh, okay. I'll have to, like, jump over the bar, though. That's fine. It, oh. it wouldn't be too difficult for, for you. All right, so I was here, so. We'll just put her there. All right. Okay. Chef? I'm going to, seeing Clara, what she's doing, I'm going to try and do something similar to that, where I'm going to walk, uh, I'm going to climb up on top of this table here. So five, ten, and then try to, like, jump over this railing to get over <laughs> to see if I'm as graceful. Uh, yeah. Sounds uh, like you want to roll me <laughs> something. No, that's what well, it sounds like to me. It is. I don't know how high From it is. that bench, you, it's probably like, I don't know, five feet. Like, it should be kind of easy, but like, I don't know if you want to role play that you're just that out of shape. Yeah, I mean, I'm, <laughs> if you want to roll in athletics, it's up to my you. My body is a little awkward since half of it was lifeboat out of me. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Oh wait, no. What am I? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, what, what do you want me to roll? I'm sorry. Athletics. Athletics. Hey, I'm good at these. Hey, I'm good at these. 
Yeah, you, um, you, you jump, you pull yourself up, and you kind of f flip over it, you know, like do a kind of clumsy roll over the rail and land up here. Oh, with my movement, I'll just be able to get over on the other side of this bar. So I'll climb up on top the bar and then roll off of it and hop down right there. Uh, just huffing and puffing, you know, using my mad focus skills to jump over bars and... uh Hey, Luigi, you'd be questioning that one. Yes, or... I was thinking maybe I would eat him. But perhaps... We could find out who he works for. You hear his his eyeball stalks go to go together as if he's crunching his fists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I need to get my hand axe back from that dead guy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that, that'll be it for me. Um, Neve, you uh, up? Uh, what do you do? I guess I'll start with. Damn, this man's a fendi for shellfish, and she'll walk over the door and open it. Okay, to see if anybody's when you, outside. When you open to the right, you see the extremely wounded guy gasping for for <laughs> air, still crawling toward like anywhere that he thinks is safe. Um, and to the left, all the way at the other end of the hall, you just make out like a black cape whip around the corner and is as if it's sprinting away. Uh, how far away is it? So they're like all the way down the hall on the balcony of the far side going down the stairs. So they're like a hundred feet from you. Oh, I got this. Oh, we're good. And this is where right, the fifth right. nap one will show up. Yeah. <laughs> They're going outside down the balcony. That's good for me. <laughs> oh, uh, no, it's oh, not yeah, as good Lord, as I thought. I can't see more. Damn it. Do I pursue? Uh, or do I just you also <laughs> see that Gimbal's room door is open. I guess I'll go look at it um how far away is his door this map's so big it's, it's like it's like 40 feet away i will dash over there so using i still have 15 left after this right yeah i'll look in there uh you do not see uh gimbal you do uh, no, you see the last remnants of like it appears to be a piece of paper and it's like slowly disintegrating away does that ring any bells in my arcane mind uh yeah roll me arcana Yo. did they use a spell scroll what's my arcana modifier see if it's worth it I might be able to hit something with a bardic let's try it uh, 13. Uh, yeah, likely uh, a scroll was used to cast this spell. And that's the remnants of the scroll dissipating after being, ex you know, used. The only leech has is that. Yeah, that's just going to move over there 15 feet. Okay. End of turn. Um, it sounds like you guys are still planning on pursuing. So I guess we could stay in turn order. Um, Let's do it. We'll see if Lauren is able to do anything, and if not, we'll come out. Lauren. All right. What do you do? Uh, so since I was, like, on the roof, and you said this balcony is, like, kind of flush with that height-wise, like, would I have seen someone bust out of that door over there? Um, I'm trying to think. So you can't tell if they busted out of the door but uh you saw them around the corner of of the uh like the balcony onto the staircase so like you would have saw like a short movement you're not sure if they came from gimbal's door or not but you know you saw them around this corner and start heading down the staircase Ooh, cool 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 all right so yeah if i were to fly um uh... 30 foot in that direction would i get a better view on them oh yeah uh on the staircase okay cool so oh my god oh yeah i forgot it's q right oh thank god oh jesus um uh, <laughs> hold on let me 
Let me do that again. All right, yeah, so if I fly... Okay, yeah, so if I fly 30 foot over there, can I see them now? Like, is it a dude running down the stairs, or...? Uh, yes, you see a... Another one of these dudes running down the stairs. All right, so... Um... Lauren is going to yell at this guy at the top of his lungs. Uh, so he is going to use his unsettling words as a bonus action, uh, where he's going to shout at him. Uh, I, and so I, I'm kind of just weaving this together because this is a bonus action and the spell I want to use is action. So I want to do this as my bonus action and do suggestion as my uh, main action. So he's... So the unsettling words will let me reduce the next saving throw he makes by my bardic inspiration die, which would be a six. Ooh. Um, <laughs> and then he's just going to yell, I would like to strongly suggest that you stay right there and tell me everything you know about this plan as that is the only way to get out of this alive. Uh, he rolled a 13. Then a minus right, six. So then minus or, six, yeah. You know, obviously a fail. <laughs> so, <laughs> or. so what are you trying to suggest him to do again? Uh, so, yeah. So I can suggest an activity that's one to two sentences. So I just said for him to essentially uh, stay right there and tell me about this plan. Because uh, it's the only way that he's getting out of this alive. Yeah, he, he stops where he is. And he, he, like, looks around for you um, before finally making contact, eye contact. Um, he says, um, We're after the Hodozi. <laughs> Is that all he knows about the plan? Um, in six seconds? <laughs> oh shoot you're right well okay because technically he's under my suggestion until he finishes the activity uh yeah. so i guess he would stay there but yeah I, that's that's all i have yeah. for that turn anyway so we'll come out of combat um and uh just gonna go ahead and quickly change the music um I wish I could find this stupid music that's playing right now. There it is. Okay. Uh, so as we come out of combat, um, we'll start with... We'll start with the folks inside. I want to see what Clara and Chef are doing. <laughs> um, It's going to be that scene from Final Fantasy VII whenever you're with uh, that little Dawn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, is what what's Lars Luigi doing right now? He's uh, he is um, he is slobbering a bit. He's got blood. He's he's got blood dripping down his teeth and down his chin from his previous kill. Um, and he's licking his lips, looking down on this bandit. I'm gonna give him a handkerchief. Hey, Luigi, you got that little something right there. And the, this telekinetic presence grabs it. It starts dabbing his his chin. Thank you. It'd be so unsightly okay? yeah. for someone to see me in such a manner. The manner is glorious. It's, it's fine. Is, is it okay if we wake this, this guy up? Hmm. You might guess... But if he makes any I, more trouble, it's on to, it's in your hands. I, you might oh. want to tie him up. <laughs> so Clara uh, looks for a bit of rope. Tie him up. Does she find any? I, I think you probably have rope in your like pack. I would assume. Uh, do I? I've still got I'm some. Sure. I'll only cut off a little bit at to the, tie Lauren up. Yeah, at the very worst, you see some hanging off of Chef's uh, backpack. Okay, yeah, so I'll quickly tie him up. And after he is uh, tied, Clara will grab him by, like, Side. his collar and start shaking him awake, banging his head on the table, saying, Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Thank <laughs> God until he's he didn't slap him. Thank God. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, uh... 
come he comes to eyes wide uh and he starts struggling immediately um realizing hey, the situation common, he's in be calm there friend uh well maybe not friend you did try to to attack my uh my large friend here but ah you keep struggling we'll have uh we'll have to kill you you could kill me either way i mean i never said i would kill you but i mean i'm all for it just do it I, she be she be a little screw loose here and there just do it and he he like lifts his chin like as if he wants you to cut his throat or something oh sir i think you're misunderstanding something see i take great pride in watching my prey struggle and struggle until <laughs> their life fades from their eyes so you can tell us tell us what you know and uh i, I guess chef can handle it but if you don't i can take over Okay, roll me intimidation check. Jeez, I'm sitting on. there. I'm sitting there looking at this large meat cleaver <laughs> with with advantage. With advantage, I will do it again. You have a giant Wipe beholder and, and a chef. Didn't matter. Got an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, large Luigi be like in sushi. It's an eleven. Oh. Dead either way. She I'm not uh... talking. <laughs> <laughs> she lifts his leg and just slams her fist into his kneecap. Ugh. We cut to outside <laughs> where yeah, let's we hear torture scene. <laughs> we hear a grunt, um, a kind of muffled from from inside. Um, Lauren, uh, this guy standing here. How long does suggestion last? Is it just until he completes his? What are you supposed uh, to do? So it lasts up to eight hours. Either eight hours or <laughs> until he finishes Finish the his task. Tasks. Okay. Yeah. So I will swoop over. We'll start flying, fluttering over to him as he talks. Look, uh, we were hired to to capture this um this Adozi. Um, I think his name's Elmendar. Elmendar. Of Elmendar star charts. Um. I. Um, I just needed the pay. And. And. Bing D was paying. And Elmen. Uh, so just out of character, really quick, because I. He he said that Elmendar was the person who hired him, right? Not the person he was looking for. Uh, it he it seemed that he was saying that Elmendar was the Hodozi. Oh, the Hodozi. Okay, okay. Just wanted to clarify that real quick. Uh, hmm. Well, that doesn't sound exactly like everything, does it? So, who hired you to do this? Hmm. I feel like that's part of everything you know about this plan. <laughs> I said that. Bingdi. Oh, Bindi. Bingdi. 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 Hmm. So Bingdi hired you to uh, kidnap Elmendar Star Chart. And anything else you know about all this, this plan of yours? How many of them were you? When did you concoct this plan? I mean, well, uh, crew of. Fifteen. Um, I so I think you're coming to the limits of the spell because you were supposed to use this like the three sentences or whatever the few sentences. So you're yeah, like asking so additional I, questions, and I, I'm I'm going with it because, um, because it was in combat, so there wasn't a lot he could say at that time. But outside of you know, mm -hmm. but I feel like at this point he's answered. The suggestion which was tell me what you know of this plan yeah yeah because i just said tell me everything you know about the plan so yeah i mean if that's everything he knows about um, it then yeah uh so oh, I, I guess, guess he would he would say we had a distraction force sent in to go after large luigi because we know he watches everything 
like a hawk in his establishment, while Bingby and me and Harold stood guard outside the door to this guy, and, um, shit, um, why did then, I just tell you all that? <laughs> then we were going to bring him to a warehouse. That's all I know. Oh, well, you were quite forthcoming with that information. Thank you very much. Honestly, uh, I think you were excellent at your job. Why don't you work for us? I mean, the person you were hired to kidnap was going to pay us handsomely for escorting him to where he was, and you do seem to be in need of money. I don't hold the grudge. <clears throat> at the he uh he looks at you. Roll me yeah, roll me persuasion. <laughs> this is this he is, has uh, no idea the amount of carnage that lies downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay, so that would actually be an eighteen due to my uh okay. silver tongue. An 18. Turn a 2 into a 10 plus 6, or 8, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm sure a nice fellow and all. But you know what? Today's taught me anything. It's that I'm hanging up my life of crime to become a better man. <laughs> can I, can I insight that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Lauren um, takes a bird shit on him. <laughs> oh, that's a nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not sure. I mean, he's he might be being truthful. It's hard to tell. Hmm. Uh. Okay. So, just to uh, he's going to carefully lower his crossbow at the man. Hmm. I will see. And also, by this time, would would Neve have been like coming through the hall? Or oh yeah, sure. She investigating she, something else? Or? Unless, well. It's up to Neve, but if Neve wanted um, to, she could have gotten up to here by now. I would I have seen Lauren like going down to talk to him, or do I? You cannot see that till I get around the corner. Yeah, there's a big wall there. Unless you looked out the window, which you could have done. Um, I didn't go into the room, so I will say I would have had to come around the corners. Lauren, do you have this taken care of? Uh, well, this man says that he's going to leave his life of crime, and he did offer me quite a bit of information about they, um, they were going to kidnap our friend for someone named Bingby and take him to a warehouse, so if he's not in his room, I suggest we find this warehouse. Just hold her in, all right. Uh, she'll look back. Uh, is that guy still, like, crawling away? Yeah. <laughs> How he's, far away he's, is he? Like, he saw you, you walk out the room and slowly turn around. He, he has now seen you. He, like You walk past him and you're down that way. He sees you and now he's turned around and is slowly crawling the other way back toward the how, stairs. How far away is he? Um, You're like here. So I mean, he's like 120 feet. He's, he's getting out of there. <laughs> slowly um, just say I'll be right back <laughs> um, and she'll turn around walk 30 feet and as she does so she like puts her hand in a circular motion in front of her and a wormhole opens in front of her as she casts vortex warp and the other end of the wormhole opens right behind this guy's I would stop where you are, <clears throat> where are you? I'm not done with you yet what any information you have currently, please disclose it. Uh, <laughs> intimidation advantage. <laughs> Ooh, not good on the first one. Second one's better. Um, uh, what's my intimidation? Uh, nine. Ooh. I'd rather die. Just kill me. All right, but I need to gather some information first. Just start <laughs> increasing density to see how much you can take. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> just taking notes mentally for Simon <laughs> to write down later. Uh, and then once I think he can't take anymore, I'll finish him with a magnify gravity. Okay, yeah. And uh, he, he, he... Rip. <laughs> R.I.P. 
Hmm, didn't take as much force as I thought it would. Oh right. boy. Uh, then she'll start walking back to Lorne. <laughs> Okay. You thought Strahd was dark. We just left people for dead in that game. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Lauren, this man that you have suggested is mm -hmm. is under his breath just saying, shouldn't have said any of that, shouldn't have said any of that. And he starts to try and walk past you down well, the stairs. Well, 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 here. I'll, I'll kind of like raise the crossbow a little bit. Now, hold on, hold on a moment. Obviously, you're probably worried about your previous employers coming to kill you. So realistically, it's probably safest here. No way. I don't expect you to be. Lodge Luigi doesn't mess around. Oh, I'm sure I could convince him not to eat you right away. He looks in the window and sees a dude ripped in half. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, I take my chances. Turn me life around, uh, I will. Uh, okay, here, fine. He's he's gonna, like, back up, like, as he's slowly, like, kind of letting him get a little bit down the stairs, but also, like, keeping a little bit of distance between him and, uh, him. And uh, he'll just say, one last question. Where is this warehouse, if you are so rightly turning a new leaf? You're helping us prevent an innocent man's death, torture, or whatever they were going to do to him. Don't cast a lane. All right. I'm a man of my word. As, Do better. Uh, as he gets that information from him, and he's going around the corner, just, are you sure you don't want to stay? I could find plenty of uses for you. No, no. Shame. He's like, his, his, like, his clenched walk becomes like a, <laughs> a jog, and then a sprint as he, unless you guys are doing something, as he realizes he could get away <laughs> no I'll, I'll let him go yeah he can go oh well hopefully he can find work in the city that isn't so violent were you able to find anything out Nive? yeah the people of this planet can't take gravitational force as much as i thought they would be able to i guess there is a lighter gravity here because of the uh, size of the rock that we're on <laughs> he'll, he'll like look past her down the hall and see that like smooshed guy over there Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> well um i suppose we should go talk to the others and hopefully find this don castle lane warehouse quite quickly hopefully that would be and you must disclose all the information you got for from him of course of course Oh, also, I believe our friend was lying about his name. Possibly goes by Elmendar Starchart. What'd you say? Oh, that uh, our friend. I believe he was lying about being named Gimbal. I think he might truly be known as Elmendar Starchart. Elmendar. No, that she bells? Hmm, maybe she would. She was always low. Never mind, we'll get to that. Once we find them. Oh, okay. Well, to them. <laughs> <laughs> so what what scene do the other two come in on? <laughs> He's probably dead at this point. <laughs> oh, like, His legs and arms are broken, to say the least. Oh, jeez. So. It's like, I, Clara, have you ever thought about uh, getting in the meat tenderizing business? <laughs> As dark as that to be silent. Mm. I can always use some help, uh, you know, uh, breaking the ribs out and whatnot on the ship. Oh, yes, but they're, they're already dead. I mean, where's, where's the joy in that? <laughs> Fair point, I suppose. It's all about the struggle, chef. I prefer not to struggle that much. <laughs> And then he starts thinking, would she enjoy a meal that is tough as fucking rocks? <laughs> Just struggling to eat it. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Oh, are we yep. are we doing tests in here ourselves, are we? Oh, lords, what in the hells is going on over there? That, oh, Clara was I that just you? Just preparing Luigi a snack. He, he's, he's still alive, I think. She looks back at him. <laughs> 
Definitely <laughs> <Yeah>. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, you see, Clara, I think when you turn a head a certain way, uh, unlike Lauren over there, it doesn't do a full 360 without probably breaking <laughs> something in the process. But I, I could have, I could have sworn. Maybe I banged his head once many times. Uh, you did slap the living shit out of him a little too hard there. <laughs> so he called me names. <laughs> Lauren, I just whispered to Neve. By the gods, Neve, th this new girl a decapitated is in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about trial and error. She'll, she'll get it. Just give her time. Oh. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, Medical practice is always. Hey, Lord, you mind subject. picking up that axe over there? Oh, of course. He'll like grab it with one of his foot talons and flutter over to you and as, drop it in your hand. As you go to pick it up, give me a perception check. Oh, oh crap. Well, hopefully this is good. Maybe, maybe get a cool I mean, he is beheaded, so who knows? All right. That oh, is God. four. Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, please, for the love oh, of God, right. pick up your dice and roll them yourself. Yeah, you just, you just pick up the axe. So nothing else cool. Nothing happens. All right. Um, okay, yeah, you know, flutters over and drops it for, uh, good old chef. Um, and then Lauren will say, um, um, Luigi, uh, do you happen to know of any, I don't know, possible crime, crime lords or anyone by the name of Bingby who would want to kidnap someone? I, I think you might mean Bing D. Bing D. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard of him. Him and his crew are nowhere to tell. Had a few drinks here a couple nights ago. Oh, um, I see. Call themselves One. the Harpy's Hindquarters. What? <laughs> I, uh... Quite a mouthful, that one. <laughs> um, but I, I appreciate the effort. Uh, Each their own, I, I suppose. I think they might have a hideout in a warehouse on Elmendar. Uh, not on Elmendar. <laughs> on, uh, on Doncastle Lane. Do you know how far that is? There's no such place in this town. Oh. Hmm. Well, my friend couldn't lie to me, so either he was lied to or our friend is being taken off world. Uh the the effects of your spell had already like you would know like oh, had been that's... faded by that point and you never insight checked that. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, so it wasn't part of everything. He knew about the plan, the bastard. Yeah, he um, might not have known about the location and just was lying to save his ass. He probably put that together. Well, <laughs> that little... Uh, well, hopefully he just said that to save his own ass and not to lie to me and throw us off the trail. But, all right, well, that's a good lead anyways. Uh, do you have any idea where Bingby's crew are? Or would stay? Any of your informants? I do not know. Why would they come into my establishment on such a day as this and mess up the place? You, what? you, what? you don't have a daughter getting married, do you, or anything like what that? What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a nice day to be alive. Any day that you're Empire. alive is a nice day to be alive. <laughs> uh, he do be having a point there. One of my favorite bards used to sing a song. His name was Trit Travis. Uh, Did he have yes. a last name? That was his name, Trit Travis. Last name is Travis, Clara. I uh, some you see in some cultures, Car Clara, uh, people be taking first names as a last name, and last names is a first name. Would Scott be considered a first name? It depends on the culture, I suppose. 
I see. Look, um, hmm. I have a lot of cleaning up here to do. Uh, if you want to help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, uh, well, I, what about the rest of you? Oh, actually, if we do, uh, Luigi, especially since we helped you take out these brigands, I was wondering, uh, do you think I could get a scheduled slot uh, for playing here? I think we'll be here for a while oh, God. doing <laughs> repairs on the ship. <laughs> Lauren, if I recall, you can't play here anymore. I would say well, that, you know, if the right. owner, if the owner himself were to request, I, I feel like that is a little different than me just coming here on my lonesome. Are you not respecting a deal that you made with an I individual? Or and I, uh, uh, you know, I'd probably not be uh, asking large Luigi such questions. <laughs> oh, fine. I figured it was worth a shot. I well, tell you what, I can stay here and help him clean up if you all want to figure out where this warehouse be. I guess I probably should have just taken off to the skies and immediately tried to find whoever took our man, but it's a little late for that now. And we don't necessarily know that anybody took him. Oh. We just... I saw the remnants of a scroll that had been used within his room. So either somebody used it with him or he used it himself. Ooh. Just Either option. Oh, well. The, the, our man, he did tell me that their crew was about 15 large and said that he was waiting outside the room with... Uh, himself, another individual, and the, um, Big D. So, I guess the two of them would have had to escape with the... Our man? Uh, Gim... Or... Not Gimbal, Jeffrey. Um... So, He's is there any type of spell that could teleport three people like that? I assume I would know. At least two people, right? <laughs> I, I oh, assume I know the other guy got two people. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I got my dudes mixed up. Dimension door spell, most likely. Hmm. Is that uh, if someone can cast that? Is that someone we should be worried about? High level spell. So Ooh. either they got very lucky with their equations, or they are able to cast it. Hmm. Well. You're the brains, Nevis. Whatever you think is best, I'll aid you. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is with your false information on where this warehouse is, it could be anywhere in the city. And Chef knows the city best. Chef? I, I guess you do have a point there. Where would a shady crew of kidnappers hide in a warehouse? At least the warehouse should be true, from my understanding. Where would a bunch of shady individuals hide out in a warehouse? Or people of ill repute that would be able to give us information on the Harpy's hindquarters. My first uh, Grizzlock, the DM, do I know any such information? <laughs> uh, you're asking if you know information on where they would be hanging out? Yeah, like, you know, some shady warehouses, maybe, you know, something about the Harpy's hindquarters. I don't know. Um, or anybody that might know anything about the Harpy's hindquarters. Maybe I might know somebody that might know about these people. You know, maybe I got some... Maybe I know a guy without having the inspiration where I know a guy. <laughs> right, you don't you don't have the I know a guy inspiration, but um but he has backstory. <laughs> but I have the most beautiful thing of all backstory. So here's here's uh roll me a history check with advantage. I'm, uh, oh. is there something, are you hiding something from the rest of the group or do you, are you, have you forgotten? Oh, I mean, no, I haven't <laughs> forgotten anything, dog. <laughs> I, 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 I never forget anything I in my, my life. Dealings. I know where I do my dealings. 
Okay. Oh my me. god, are they the people who buy the drugs or something that you <laughs> were selling? Roll me a history <laughs> check with advantage. Oh, that's gonna be... Nice, oh, no. nat 20. Oh, 20. Okay, let me, uh, let me pull something up really quick for you. Um, I saw the big red B pop up on the die on <laughs> D&D or on D &D Beyond. It's like, ooh. That... Why is it every time we talk about the drugs, I roll a nat 20? <laughs> Why? Lauren, the dice tell a story, man. I don't know what you want. I know. They man. make Lauren lose his, his battle terribly and they let you know everything about drugs. Yeah. The drugs didn't even yeah. the drugs didn't even exist until I rolled that nat 20. <laughs> uh it's at this point you're you're thinking through all the information and a recipe comes to mind. Yep. And adding butter. Butter. Adding butter to some potatoes. That's what you get. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but like where would those people be is what I'm getting at. Like where would um, I think those people would be. So what's interesting to you is that this individual um it sounds almost like he's not with that crew anymore. Mm. Uh it sounds like now he's part of this Harpy's hindquarters. So you're not too sure, but you know he was a smart dude. Um with that nat 20 uh Knowing him, he'd probably pick somewhere less traveled. Uh, maybe a, a part of town with less people. Um, maybe, I mean, he would probably find the derelict building, you know, something that wasn't in use previously, so there'd be no paper trail. He wouldn't have to, like, be paying, paying, you know, rent or something on this place. Um, okay, so I feel like we're getting confused here. So I know like what we just went over, mm -hmm. but what's a shady part of town? That's the main question okay. here. Like um, that's what I'm asking. Like where would people of that variety hang out? Uh, I mean, it's it's so hard generally, to say. Generally, I mean the low city, perhaps, um, and then. I'll say it's just weird because I don't put everything into different sections on the map. So I'll bring you guys over to the map. How about that? I just realized I'm looking at the map and you guys aren't. Never have, never will. Okay. Oh, so beautiful. somewhere in the low city, like maybe, well, I'll like narrow it down. Maybe like uh, yeah, somewhere, somewhere in here. <laughs> <laughs> if that helps. Oh. That might be a good place to at least start your search. No, we are in space on a rock, so I'm not going to say that south. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> there is no direction. The enemy's gate is down. There's um, no direction here. Only <laughs> Zool. <laughs> Only Zool. <laughs> I, well, I mean, there, uh, I guess you can always... We'd always start our search uh, near Galleon Street or Cuttle Street. Oh, okay. Well, that, that sounds good. Uh, well, we're, you know, thinking of shady dealings and shady areas. Uh, Luigi, what is your policy on recreational drugs? Just, just to clarify. Hey, you just tripped on mushrooms and you're asking the man who gave it to you. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yes, you probably are right. Okay, so, uh, I, sorry, I just wanted to check before I asked, uh, Chef, what the hell was the thing with the drugs on the ship? I, that'd be a question for another time, don't you? I think we got some more <laughs> That's what you told matters. me. That's what you told me last time, Chef. <laughs> well, I mean, one, we were bored, and two, we were killing people. You know, it's no time's a good time. Mm -hmm. That lady attacked well... our ship after taking those, so they have been important. I they do be some good drugs. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you folk have um 
found yourselves in quite the predicament. I, we do be uh, finding ourselves in some strange places sometimes. Well, Next up, the Harpy's hindquarters. <laughs> so it sounds that um, they're looking. They they stole uh, a dozy friend. Is that right? Uh, more of an acquaintance, but uh, yes. He owes us money. Oh. It's interesting. This, um... There's been a dozy staying here uh, for maybe a week now. I, I think they may have be taking the wrong dozy with them. It's possible. Did we, did we check his room? Yes, he wasn't in his oh. room. Okay. Um, well... Did they take both just to be safe? I will, um... I'll be willing to pay you 50 gold pieces for uh, the head of the leader of this operation as nobody gets away with wronging large Luigi. Hey, I could use some spending money. How about you? <laughs> Condition of the head. Lars whispering to the chef. So is his first name large? Hey, <laughs> no, I, I believe that to be a title. <laughs> Recognizable. Understood. I wow, would be good at really... clean cuts. <laughs> really stepped up from uh, moving. <laughs> I like this. This is adventure. This will make a great story. Oh, Aye, oh. As long as you don't be singing about it in the taverns. <laughs> or in my presence. Oh, don't worry. It'll be a good one. It'll go right along with the music. Because uh, technically we would be able to hear if we were like nearby if she was playing her classical, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it like it's faint, and she like puts it. Essentially, she makes herself headphones to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it'll go along great. My little earpiece has like an FM dial on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish you would use your time more wisely pursuing orchestral elven music rather than this. <laughs> I guess it's using your brain creatively. It's something that's good for the mind, I hear. Anyway. You know what? I'll have to pick that up, actually. I like to be talented in many a different form of music. But that's for later. How about we find this leader and take his head and, oh, it's going to be great. Okay. What's... So, uh, Lauren will start heading out. <laughs> Uh, no help for me, it seems. I can just, stay behind just watch and you. help if you needed. We should be helping clean this place up. Here, you can clean and I'll just do a quick flyby above and see if I can see any warehouses. Shouldn't take me too long. I don't think this rock is too large. Uh, I mean, you can roll... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to say, if you're actually doing that, I mean, you can roll perception as you fly around and... We'll figure out what goes on. Cool, cool. Yeah, so he gonna be he gonna be you know decently high up, and uh, floof, floof, floof. Let's see. Oh my god! Large <laughs> Luigi also will say, "No, it's okay. You do not have to stay. You've already done enough." All right. Well, then don't guilt trip us next time if you're just gonna have us go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, All yeah. out on his bullshit. And then the <laughs> the mop starts flying over the the bucket and starts dunking it in and swashing away at some blood stains. Um Ooh, as oh, yeah. I mean, and so if you guys don't stay, do stay. I don't know. Where are you guys doing? No, we will we'll leave. Right. So he, you, he said not worry about it, so we're just going to leave. All right. So you step outside. 
um, into the street. Um, Lauren uh, has flown the wrong direction from what you were talking about. <laughs> I mean, Lauren, Lauren, you're going the wrong way, man. You just see like Lauren kind of up, like woo, slowly start turning around. <laughs> why, are you, why are you going to the high city? That's not even close. Where are we going? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll nothing but aristocrats with the sticks up their ass up there. <laughs> I'll try to keep a better eye this time, and he'll he'll just keep looking from on high. I don't know, like thirty or forty foot up above them, just looking around. Yeah. So, um, as you uh, is there anything in particular you're doing, uh, like? to find him or are you just literally like hoping to run into a derelict's warehouse <laughs> oh yeah so i don't know what everyone else is looking for but at least lauren is looking for some sort of warehouse not even necessarily a derelict just anything that looks like it would be a large uh um building like that that could handle things like that and just like you know uh is, but taking note if one is kind of older or has like people kind of look like they're guarding it that don't necessarily look like regular guards. But he's also like staying relatively close to the group. So if they're also mm -hmm. looking around just so we can like relay info back and forth. All right. So this is so, how we're going to come I'm up sorry. with a nine here is there seems to be an astral. There seems to be a lot of astral clouds blowing around right now and like it's and fog. That's It's a foggy day. And uh, you can't really see too much on the ground from where you are with the nine. It's it's kind of hard gotcha. to see too far out. Yeah. Uh, he will land and walk with him. Uh, oh, it's it's a bit cloudy today. It's it's a little hard on my eyes. I'm a bit of a, a night owl, honestly. <laughs> wow. What were you going to say, Chef? Uh, so I didn't ask this before we left, so I'm just gonna re like rely on like a type of recall. Like, if I, did I see anything like as I was fighting that one pirate kind of guy? Like, maybe a distinguishing mark that might show that he is a part of like a group, like maybe a tattoo or something like that. Yeah. Um. It would have been it would have been cool if you investigated at the time, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I just thought about it. I was like, so I don't want to like. I'm trying to just like a high DC if that's a thing, or if no, it was moving too quickly. I'm down with whatever. Um, you guys got pretty personal with that one bandit. We'll say that uh, yeah. was on the counter. <laughs> the car beat the death. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll retroactively give me investigation. That's what we'll do. Oh. Let's see. Investigation. Where is my investigation? Oh, this is probably not going to be that good. It's not going to be that good. It's a nine. Yeah, no, you didn't see anything of that would point that out, or at least you don't remember. I'm just kind of thinking as I'm walking. Can Clara roll investigation? Sure. Sure. Yeah, she was getting real intimate she with the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, she didn't <laughs> care. Oh, you guys God, she didn't, didn't care. You didn't roll Lid, 20 Lid. to roll your dice. Lid. Lid. All Lid. 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 Oh, well, I'm using Lid. 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 beyond. He's Lid. 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 Would I have seen any distinguishing one. features as I had a nice conversation <laughs> with the gentleman? You know what? Roll me investigation, Jack. I, oh, I kind of already gave you this roll earlier, but... 12. All right. Are, are, are there people walking on the street? Would you guys like to go back to the Happy Beholder? No, go ahead, Clara. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. You go so back to the Happy Beholder. She's <laughs> going to walk up. <laughs> she's going to walk up to, um, I guess, just someone that just is in the area that they're in and just ask, excuse me, um, if I want to get in a fight around here, where would I go? <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. For one, I'd say stay clear of the Happy Beholder. You don't want to start any fights in the Happy Beholder. I hear Lodge Luigi does not take well to that. We're coming, <sighs> Lodge. But... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You, uh, you, mm hmm. Uh, are you interested in fighting? Oh, yes. Sometimes they hold tournaments to see who the best fighters are on the Rock of Brawl. You see her um, vibrate and then she points to herself. <laughs> it's like, well, you're looking at the best fighter that you've ever seen. That sounds splendid. What's your name? Maybe I'll, oh. maybe I'll take some bets on you someday. I oh, have right. watched her kill a man with her bare, goopy fists. Yes, that man stood no chance. Wonderful. It's nice to meet you, Kalara. Um, let's see. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, let me roll. Let me. I also roll well, investigation like if we have to rely on that. <laughs> um, I mean, there's all sorts of riffraff around. Uh, if, I mean, this is a this is a port town. Um, there's um. There is uh, all sorts of pirate folk, all sorts of different groups and organizations, different pirates, different bandits, uh, as well as, believe it or not, I've been seeing Zaraxian Empire in town, and that's been stirring all sorts of chaos. The pirates fighting the elves, the elves fighting the pirates. There's been chaos in the streets as of late. Um, I mean, I've well, they look... <laughs> Clara, what if we uh, started you kind of small? You know, I hear there's a uh, new out here. There's a new group of people that just came to the rock not that long ago. Uh, the happy harpies, the harpy butt cracks. I can't remember their names. <laughs> harpy <laughs> butt cracks. All right, history check for this guy. <laughs> Lauren's head kind of like sinks into his. Uh jacket a little bit yeah. <laughs> oh, Neve looks up from her book that's floating in front of her and she's been writing it it's hard to tell she looks up because she has no pupils or irises her eyes just look like wild space so but she looks up and then goes back to writing okay um I can't say I'm familiar with that exact group um I have No, I've never heard of them. Ooh, here's a question for you. What is the dirtiest, nastiest dive bar where all the hooligans would hang out around here? <laughs> the happy beholder. <laughs> <laughs> where no trouble gets started. <laughs> um, I'm it's talking very tame fights, pirates, people man. lose teeth. Where's the place you would never go by yourself? <laughs> oh boy. Most certainly would avoid the stinking seagull. Ooh. Mm, cute. Interesting. I, that, <laughs> that place really be sounding like shit. We should go. Where else to find scum and villainy? I'm like, I look at Nive whenever he mentions villainy, like, this guy fucking for real. She's <laughs> <laughs> right in there. Um, Grizz, I don't know if you'd allow Nive to do an investigation on the tattoo. Um, I rolled a disadvantage, if that helps. Uh, what did you roll? I rolled an 18 at disadvantage. Oh, nice. Um, All these <laughs> fools over here. <laughs> I, I was mean, too busy cutting ahead precisely. <laughs> I, I will say, as you're experimenting, as you put it, on a man, <laughs> um, oh. you saw like a part of a tattoo peeking off, peeking out of his his collar. Um, so you saw like half a um, sexually posed harpy, uh, harpy. <laughs> on his neck. Tattoo. Uh, yeah, she's just like writing notes in her book. It's, no, she wouldn't be that smart to do a double name change. Chef, would any kind of pin up harpy tattoo mean anything to you? Uh, 
Uh, you rolled a nat twenty earlier, but that was that was on the location of where you think. Yeah, that be. was on the location of like. So, if I've heard the name, the odds are I don't know if I've heard. Yeah. yeah. Like. No. Because I, I mean, personally didn't hear the name. I don't think until tonight. Yeah. Right. Right. So I don't so think I so. Yeah. I know uh, just from what we were hearing earlier. All right. So, well, at least that man had a tattoo of a harpy on him. Well, if he has a harpy on him, it's probably a, a symbol of their uh, their establishment. Yes. Interesting the way the ink sinks into the skin under high pressure. Uh, uh, Aye, especially once it gets in a couple layers there. Lauren, I'll like pass a gold to this random passerby and kind of like gently move him along. Um, <laughs> no, thank you. And <laughs> and just say, oh, Nive, you keep she, 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 she. You said that when we were talking about Elmendar star chart as well. What what is the what's the story with that? Does it relate just, to this at all? I don't think so. I don't. I think this is beyond her intelligence level. Uh, just somebody I used to know. But shouldn't have to worry about it now. <laughs> Very much a slacker, party goer. She wouldn't be smart enough to do this. <laughs> I feel like out of character. I know who this is. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, hmm. Oh, well, all right. Well, uh, should we head to the stinking seagull then? I don't think there was a G in there, Lauren. So, oh, the, my apologies. Stinking seagull. Yes. Yes. Local vernacular. Uh, you gotta be adding that apostrophe at the end of the end, though. Mm, yes, of course. Wouldn't want to confuse you. You should. Anyone. I don't think they do, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can think of a song on the way. Oh, uh, also, as we're kind of like walking around and doing all this talking and stuff, like, is that light enough activity to have short rested at all? Uh, you can't normally short rest when you're like walking, right? When you're like traveling. Walking and actively looking for stuff, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we okay, are being curious. active. We're not lightly just. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I mean, if you guys, okay, like, you guys checking. can feel free to go back to the happy hold beholder and sit down if you want and take a short rest. He wants them Bardos back, is what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> but it's up to oh, you. I, I still don't think I get that. But, uh,. I, I'm all right. I mean, I'm still. Right. Some might say I'm feeling a 16 Wait. on a scale of 24, but you know. As you turn around to walk, y'all just see these syringes come out of my arm <laughs> as I jab him in the back. <laughs> it's like, I hey, there's a little pick pick me up for you. I'm gonna do cure wounds on you. <laughs> oh, awesome. Three episodes uh... in, Eve hasn't been hit yet. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I think you're the only one who got hit, Lauren. That is, oh, out of yeah, all exactly. tonight. Oh, and this yeah. Way, yeah. Also, as we were like walking out of there, no. Lauren pulls the uh, dagger out of his chest and puts that in. Just been walking with the dagger, <laughs> taking out of your chest. <laughs> Clara did get hit too during that. I play. forgot about that. You did have so, a dagger sticking out of your chest the entire time we were communicating with people. I, uh, no, you, no, no, no. As we came, it's kind of like halfway through Lost Song when I realized Zorag was wearing a skull and a dragon horn on his head everywhere he went. <laughs> Uh, so you start, you begin to, uh, head toward the direction of the low city. And at one point you do see, um, up ahead, some, uh, um, familiar, some familiar armor of this red, these red clad, uh, what appear to be astral elves, um, uh -oh. as they're kind of like, going up to people they're like seem to be like pulling out like a scroll oh. saying something and like yeah you know they kind of like talk back and forth with the person before like moving on um and they turn and they start coming in your direction what would you guys like to do wake everyone be acting drunk Act can we like just yell at each other <laughs> they'll avoid they'll ignore you but they have posters, possibly of a chef. Then, like, uh, should we just start veering off to the side, a side street now? <laughs> like, trying to grab people's shoulders. They 
It might not. It might just be the Hadozi. Yeah, I they'd be they'd be hard pressed to come up with sketches this quick. Uh oh you you do make a point. Better, gonna, like, that's not to be head. seen as well. Nive's uh, mage hand will just Nive's put the book the... in front of her face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you guys are kind of like this pot, this hat this, a little this lower. pot that I'm using yeah. as a helmet's like slinking <laughs> down on my head. You guys <laughs> like has a, go ahead. You guys do your best to kind of like disguise yourselves, like <laughs> looking Just down not and, and, and yeah, start yeah, yeah. walking past them as they approach. Oi, you, you lot, yeah, you. You seen? You lower the book. <laughs> yeah, you you see a, a before you. Um, this like uh this blonde astral elf male um and he uh he holds out a scroll we're looking for this his name's gimbal glide spocket have you seen him no nah, never seen him in my life deception check <laughs> all right let's go you let's see go. on this paper it says reward 300 gold pieces Oh, but my, oh my, lucky whoever catches him. That's a 27 on Deception. Yeah. Could have pulled him out and gotten 300 gold and just been done with it. <laughs> Very well. Um, any of you? Ah. Oh, I knew <laughs> this is coming. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is coming. <laughs> like, Clark We've been together just, this whole time. <laughs> yeah, you can take just, lead. with no eyes is just going to stare at the man and say nothing. Just keep staring. I'm looking <laughs> haphazardly drunk, like I'm confused on where I am in the universe. You've got no no mouth on you. Just stare. Says nothing. I'm drooling. <laughs> I don't think she it's has one. one. Plasmoids still confuse me. It's a bit early to be drinking, don't you think? I be drinking whenever i want it's five o'clock somewhere so a man named jackson said that once yeah i've heard of him good bard jackson allen <laughs> heard of him <laughs> <laughs> it's five o'clock in Taldori. <laughs> we don't Equivalent talk about that place in this world <laughs> <clears throat> no um all right um very well. Well, if you see him or learn anything of him, we'll pay for information. Um, we got people all over town. Uh, 300 gold pieces if you bring them to us. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. <laughs> like I for information, but we gotta bring now, them to him. <laughs> now, is it information you seek or him for the reward? Just out him of for the big reward. Small amount for information, depending on how good the information, but you said you haven't seen him, so. Well, here, let me take a better look at that drawing. <laughs> <laughs> he gives it to you. Lauren's going to prison. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren gives it a good, good look. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hold on, let me, let me speak to my smart one over here. And he'll, like, kind of take Neve the other way <laughs> for a moment. I, Neve. Um, do you think if they went to the Harpy Beholder, the Happy Beholder, that, uh, they would give Luigi any trouble? Because what if we just sent them the wrong way? Then we don't have to worry about them in the area we're actually looking for. It's just kind of like under his breath with her. Uh, yes, they would if they were looking for him and we told him he was there and... Mm. Luigi's either Luigi would say no he's not and then they'd be like no but we're told and then they would ransack the place and you get mad about that or he'll just rat us out okay because we were talking yeah, about this around. right in front of him <laughs> yeah he turns around oh gosh yes I just I like to refer to her she has a much better memory than I do I, I still don't know my apologies Maybe best well. of luck in your search again if you see him say something all right, good day. Of course. Kind of tip his hat and start walking further. <laughs> we walk away. Yeah. As Whew. we get away, Nive's orb that usually wrote to orbits around her had stopped behind her back when they were interacting with them, and then as they get away, it starts orbiting again. 
Oh, if well. we can avoid interacting with them as much as possible, I would love that. Uh, yes, I, I honestly, I am a little uh, frightened of the day that uh, our captain, my beautiful captain, finally reports and our names start being spread about. <laughs> Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if that comes about, considering they fired on us for a bag of small bag of drugs. That seemed more out of spite than anything from what I've collected from all of you. Hmm. Oh, so you think since they weren't in proper waters that honestly they'd be reprimanded if they told their superiors? You think we're safe from them at this point? I don't know how deep any of that goes, but I am curious to find out. Ooh, corruption at the Empire's heart. Sounds like a wonderful tale. Okay. Yes. You guys have been walking, we'll say. You make it to the stinking seagull where you hear a thunderous voice Go. And that's when we spear jumped away. And ah, it was glorious. <laughs> I, I do believe the captain be out there getting fucked up. And that's where we will end tonight's session. <laughs> <laughs>